What's everybody? Welcome back to Psych Entertainment. Before we get started with this video, um, first we're going to talk about the race from a couple weekends ago um, and why I didn't post a race day vlog. And then there's a couple things I want to say before we get started with the video. Um, but first let's talk about the race and why there was no race day vlog. That race was not good for the debut of the car. Um, regardless what you think, if you you know if it's old or whatever, for me it's a newer model car. Um, but it was just not it was not a good day. Um, we went out for hot laps. Car did pretty good in hot laps, but I, I had one or two issues where the transmission was coming out of gear, similar to how it was in the molar practice night. But I was like I, I let it blew it off a little bit and decided to go back out and I was like, you know what, we'll go out for the heat race. Depending on what it does, depends on what my action will be on the for the feature. So we went back out in the heat race. I ran one, two laps, same thing. Um, and I just didn't want to damage anything, so we went off the track. Um, went back to the pits and just jumped onto the car. You know, checked everything, checked the linkage length from the shifter, uh, the shifter to the transmission, lengthened it a little bit, checked fluids and everything. And we just, it went pretty much what happened was we went back out for the feature, ran I think four laps is what it was, and then same thing. It went out of gear, almost went up into the wall. So I was just, I just, for the better safety of everyone else and myself, and just for the purpose of not causing a lot of cautions or anything, we just got off the track. I ended that night there, so, you know, it was just all in all, it was, it was a rough first day to get the car back on the track so we got a lot to do on the car we got to work on the transmission stuff try to get that figured out why it was doing what it was doing uh, but that's pretty much what happened on race day it just it wasn't worth the content to put up there there wasn't much to put up the hot lap film uh, got blocked by a mud clump that landed on the lens hot laps um, didn't really do too much in the feature my GoPro died right when we were going out um, to the track um, but enough talking about race day. Hopefully we get better. We I think our next race is uh, May 14th. It's fan appreciation night at Florida Speedway. Um, so we hopefully we'll have it fixed by then and be able to go to that. But second thing I want to talk about before we get to the video, which is actually relates to the video, is I want to thank Logan and everyone at the ALS um, cruise in. The calls that they're doing it for for the ALS is fantastic. Um, I was in it about two years ago. Uh, I believe it was about two, three years ago we were in it. We had the Hornet car, and this year we took the late model. And actually, with that being said, we was able to place top five in the competition cars, which is awesome. You know, it's cool to be able to get something. You know, a lot of the fans, everyone loved the car. I appreciate everyone who came out. Got a chance to stop by, see myself and Ryan, and Alex, and Kelly, the Black Wolf Motorsports team. Um, you know, I obviously want to thank them for letting me be a part of them. Back to the, the thing, you know, I want to thank Logan, everybody at the ALS um, for the show. It turned out really great. I want to say there was around a thousand cars. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Logan's going to post all that information um, on the ALS, 6th uh, Annual ALS Cruising thing on Facebook, which I will have a, a link somewhere um, for you guys to go check it out, see all the pictures and stuff. It was really cool. Um, but... Other than that, that's really all I got for you. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this little montage. Like I said, um, we, we get back May 14th on the track again at Florence Speedway for fan appreciation. But I hope you guys stay tuned, watch this rest of the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Good morning, everybody. Bright and early in the morning. Uh, welcome back to Psych Entertainment. Today it's going to be a little bit different of video. Um, sorry if you couldn't hear me because of the garage opening, but today's going to be a little bit different video. Today, uh, man, it kind of looked a little bit gloomy today, but hopefully, I think it's supposed to clear up today. Um, we are going to the ALS Cruise In Car Show down in Lawrenceburg, Indiana today um, to kind of show off the car a little bit and. Uh, you know, kind of get out there so the fans can see, you know, late models. You know, some people, they don't even know what late models are. Um, so, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get ready. It's starting to rain a little bit. 
so I won't get the car out right now to get on the trailer. They said it's supposed to rain at 7, which is about what time it is now. I think it's like 6.50 something in the morning. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get everything ready, get this car and stuff on the trailer here soon. Um, I got to move the ambulance down and move some other cars around so that I can get the car out. We're going to go ahead and get started on that, and then I will see you guys when I get ready to get the car loaded. Cars all loaded up. Should be about ready to go. We're gonna meet up with Alex and Ryan and them and uh, Kelly from Black Horse Motorsports Sports on the way down. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready for the trip and uh, we'll see you guys in downtown Lawrenceburg. Well, we made it to Lawrenceburg, downtown Lawrenceburg for the AOS car show. Got Alex, Ryan, and myself. Got here about 9.30, got everything registered, got everything documented, and uh, try to get some videos of some of the other cars. We got cars all the way down there, all the way down there, down, all over the place. So, you know, probably be a little bit of a montage, more probably music, not much talking, you know. So I hope you guys enjoy this little video, something different. Uh, make sure you stay and watch the whole thing and at the end like comment and subscribe for me and uh you know maybe i'll see you at the end before i close out
Entry 384, Jake Wittenberg. Entry 286, Philip Ramirez. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Hey. Entry 78, Jim Hollenbach. They're telling me they believe the last top five, and this could be wrong, is entry number 185. They believe.